Welcome to VHDXB. This is my home office and this is where I'm going to be talking to you for the next couple of weeks until we get done with the coronavirus situation. It's spectacular, it's very different and let's see how people like this. Now when I'm not in quarantine and not bound to my home office, I do review cars. These are some of the cars that I've reviewed lately. Go ahead and check out those videos and if you really like those videos, make sure you come back for more content. Audi has introduced the all new A3 recently and while the car looks phenomenal there's a lot of stuff that Audi has put in on the inside of the car as well and a lot of design changes. You can see from the first look over here that the car looks like a completely new designed car. It's not what the older A3 used to look like and it's also been got a fair amount of gizmos and tech which is now coming standard across all of these cars. You've got your speed limit, intersection warning, corner warnings, driver assists, you know your PDCs, your distances, your speed limit setting. A lot of these things which are now putting, being putting into all of these cars. Uh, the front of the Audi A3 looks like this and uh, I think it's a radical design statement in terms of the big honeycomb grille which is the first time ever on an A3. Uh, these headlights specifically, they're 15 LED clusters that's going to give this car a very signature, signature look. Really love all the, uh, the dimensions that Audi's put into it with those wheels and all the octagonal shapes that's been uh, stepped into there. Really like the profile from here that Audi's put in. You can see that looks rather nice. And from the back as well. Now, I really like the previous generation A3's back, but I think this one looks even better. A lot of great dynamics, um, a lot of good body lines all around. And I think that's really giving this car a fairly competitive edge in terms of the looks department. Let's talk about the inside of the only Audi A3. Of course, gorgeous metal and good plastic seems like what Audi has been using for these interiors really like the way that the seats have been put in over here now this is also a very nice leather or Alcantara what it looks like uh, of course with all your S badging that you have on there the rear seats look fairly spacious as well one of the bigger problems with the A3s is obviously the smaller back space but I think Audi has given it some more space on this one so got that now the design of these AC vents are really created in such a way that it creates an atmosphere for the driver and really gives you a very good presence. Stepping onto the inside, you can see that Audi's really gone fairly minimalistic with this. The start stop button engine, the start stop engine buttons there, gear lever, rather radical. Uh, good to see the mode selection and your power nav bar for the infotainment system on the right hand side because that's where most of the passengers are going to be using it. So it's good to see that that's very well thought that Audi has put that on the passenger side where most likely people are going to be using it. So it's nice to see that button uh, coming in over there with obviously your mute functions and uh, to skip track and your volume functions on that. Looks like a multi uh, button, like one of those buttons that you can switch and move various functionalities. So it's a very welcome move, so that looks really nice. The overall build quality, of course, it's an Audi, so you'd expect that to be really well. Uh, looks like some bit of a piano gray on the other side. And you can see this is the entire interior concept that I was talking about. And you can see the dual big massive 12 inch screens and the 10 inch screen up front, which is also an option on even on the base model. So the interior overall has a very good quality fit and finish to it. And I think it really looks supreme for the price point that Audi's are going to be rolling these cars out for. Now that's not all. There are a lot of design elements, which I'm sure I've missed out in this entire video. But who better than the actual designer of the car to tell us more about this? The A3 sedan and as a designer we are really proud of the result because we have been putting a lot of work into that, that car. And let me begin with the front end of the car because the front, we see the front as the face and therefore it's really important to give the car character and uh, to give it personality so to say. And if we start with the front we have to talk about the single frame grille. And as you can see the single frame grille has now a honeycomb pattern for the very first time in the A3. So a very three-dimensional structure that gives a lot of uh, depth and a lot of quality to the front appearance of the car. And um, at the same time, the grille sits very low as facing down to the road. So the whole car hunkers down and has more of a dynamic uh, approach and a dynamic uh, attitude towards the road. And as you can see, the grille creates also the architecture of the front. You have all the lines coming from the corners of the grille, creating a three-dimensional sculpture, as well as from the rings, as a kind of negative power dome, we call it, that continues over the hood and stretches the front of the car. Another highlight is the headlight of the A3 sedan. Let me show you this. The headlight has a really sharp cut shape and is really bold in its expression, as you can see, but we also have a digital daytime running light that can vary. Whether you choose a base car or an S-line, you have different daytime running light graphics in the front, um, so it's an absolute innovation for our A3 sedan. Now coming to the side, 
The main feature on the body side of the A3 sedan is the shoulder line that runs all the way, stretching the car while still being compact. And the most important thing is dividing into light and shadow. So a very light shoulder and a very dark body side that is modeled in a really nice, precise way to give it a lot of three-dimensional sculpture. Furthermore, you have the rocker that extends towards the rear of the car, runs into the rear bumper, bringing a lot of wedge and dynamic into the side. As a designer, we would normally always pull the wheels out as much as possible to give the car a really proper stance. We have done that in a way, but instead we have pushed the body side in as much as possible. So we have a lot of three-dimensional movement going on here, creating a sculpture that pronounces Quattro in a very new way. Then we have a really shallow cabin with a sloping coupe-like roof line that is also very compact sitting on the car, it's pushing the car forward. So all in all, a body side with a really sporty dynamic appearance. The rear spoiler creates a better aerodynamic drag efficiency, while my personal highlight of the rear are the lights. Vertical stripes on the outside and the horizontal stripe on the inside um, create a really nicely crafted element. And together with the rear diffuser, they emphasize the width of the car. All in all, these elements make for a really sporty and fresh looking sedan. Now let's talk about the interior of the A3. We have a sketch here with uh, which I can describe you the interior perfectly. We had two main goals. We wanted to follow the car's uh, sporty nature and we wanted to integrate the new digital content. We wanted to have a completely different layout from the passenger to the driver. That's why we use the air vents to create on the passenger side a very horizontal feeling, diving in from the side right into the steering wheel. And on the steering wheel, we have a very cockpit-like feeling by putting the air vents on top of the IP. This separates the passenger from the driver. Coming from the sketch, we now see the interior in the reality. You can see all the proportions and dimensions. The air vents on top that really create this immersive cockpit and then the very wide passenger section that creates this super, super slim dashboard. In between, we have the black panel element that contains the MMI touch. And we really designed it in a way that it appears to be super thin. We have the glossy surface that goes all around the corner. Coming to the center console, we follow the same principle. We have a nice trim part that surrounds the black panel area. Inside the black panel area, we have the new shifter, the new shifter design. And this is the shift by wire, which enabled us to make it very small. And this enables us to give a new spacious feeling in the center console. For example, the storage unit in the front where you put your mobile phone. Altogether, the driver-orientated cockpit of this car fits perfectly to the sporty exterior of the A3 sedan.